Hi there, we're going to draw this circular pattern part. It kind of looks like a uh, like rotor or something. So when you're in Inventor, you're going to start with a new sketch. And I've got some basic directions on my board to uh, explain to my students. So I'm going to start with a 2D sketch on the YZ plane. And I'm going to draw a line starting at the origin and just draw a horizontal line. And really, um, doesn't really matter about the the uh, distance right there. Okay, I'll grab that over. Then what I'm going to do is slightly above there draw a backwards L. Uh, for right now I'm not really paying attention to dimensions because I'm going to dimension it later. All right. So, the first line we want to lock is this one right here. I don't want that one to move. So, I'm going to do some dimensioning. I'm going to go from here, from my baseline, I'll call this one the baseline, to the bottom of my backwards L is 0.375. The dimension for the next height is 1. The dimension for the total height, 2.5. So we've got something that looks like this. And now I'll work on the width. So let's see. The width here, I want that to be 1. And I want the width here to be 0.5. All right. Looks pretty good. Finish this sketch. All right, then we want to use the rotate tool, which is right, I'm sorry, the revolve tool, which is I'll click here, then I'll make sure that I click on my red arrow to pick my axis, and that's that baseline that we drew first. I'm going to hit OK. So I've got um, kind of the rotor looking thing done. Now I want to start a new sketch, create, uh, project geometry, start on a circle right on that uh, Y axis right there. I'm going to go from measure the distance from the center of our circle, our smallest circle, to the center of our uh, axis point, and that is uh, 1.65. And I believe this is, the diameter of this is 0.5. And it's going to extrude the whole way through. So, whoops, clicked on the wrong thing. Sorry, hit extrude. There we go. So I want to go the opposite direction. I want to go through all of it. Hit OK. All right, I want to do that 10 times. So I can start a new sketch and do it 10 times. Or I can hit circular pattern, click on our little feature, click on the red arrow to pick any of the bigger circles. And I want this 10 times at 360 degrees. Hit OK. And we're almost done. If you look really closely on the directions, it has a little notch taken out of the middle here. So what I'm going to do is start a third sketch, project our geometry here, zoom in, and draw a small rectangle here with another small rectangle because I'm going to lock in Oops, I'm going to lock in this blue line that I just drew. And I want this to be 0 0.025. And I want the distance here to be the same. So I'm going to hit equals 0 0.025. And I am going to then see if I can't just extrude, zoom in, zoom in, extrude that. 
and that. Take it away. All. And hit OK. And as you can see, got a little notch taken out of there for it. So we're all done. Make sure you hit file and then save this to your Google Drive as, um, what is it? What is this? Uh, flange plate part. Uh, and you're all done. Good job.